Hello folks, welcome to Sherwood Park Toledo located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. Today I'm going to be showing you this new Toyota Highlander XLE. Now the most notable features on the XLE is its power liftgate. You also have your heated front seats and your blind spot monitoring. Now I'm going to go through a couple more features on the inside and outside of the vehicle just to get you better familiar with this new Toyota Highlander XLE. Let's get started. Now a couple of the exterior features that you will see on this XLE model is its daytime running lights. You also have your fog lamps and then if we take a closer look at your front uh, bumper you're going to see your plug-in block heater. Over on the side you have your 18 inch aluminum alloy wheels. Now you also have your integrated signal lamps as well as your foldable mirrors, heated mirrors, vortex generators and taking a look on the inside of the mirror here you're going to see your blind spot monitoring indicator. Now with your blind spot monitoring indicator it will actually light up just alerting you that there's another vehicle right beside you. The other nice thing with the XLE model is it does have the smart key system with it so as long as you have the key fob on you at all times you can unlock and lock the vehicle. You have your roof rack and the color we're going to be taking a look at today is white. Now to start off with we're going to be taking a look at your front dash as well as your front seats just so you have a much better idea of how much space there is. Now you have your beige leather interior seat surfaces with your power driver's seat with lumbar support. Taking a look just over on your left hand side, you have your automatic high beams as well as your auto stop and start, power lift gate, and then your window wiper de-icer with some storage space for some coin. On the inside of your driver's side door you also have some mirror controls, window locks, power locks, window controls, both your front and rear windows. And a couple of the controls you'll see here on the steering wheel include your volume control, scroll function, mode select, voice recognition, scroll function for your multi-informational display, lane departure alert, and cruise control. Now the other nice thing with this multi-informational display is that you can go through many of the different other options on here. So taking a look you have an exterior temperature gauge as well as your range, eco indicator, all wheel drive indicator, and a sway warning control. And then over to your right you can go through navigation, audio, your uh, lane departure alert, auto stop and start, messages, and then you also have your settings for your lane departure alert, pre-collision system, blind spot monitoring on and off. When you actually turn on the blind spot monitoring, the lights and the mirrors there will actually turn on. And then you also have your uh, parking uh, power mode, sorry, as well as your auto stop and start uh, settings and a couple of other additional features in here as well. Now we're going to be taking a look at your center dash as well as your touch panel display. You have your digital clock and then if we head into the apps menu here you're going to see your navigation audio phone as well as a couple of other additional features. Now one of the cool features with the um, Highlander XLE is it does have the driver easy speak feature. So the nice thing with that is if you're going on those long trips sometimes it's very difficult to actually break up the kids when they're fighting because they're in the third row and your voice is being projected forward just because you're trying to concentrate on the road. When you actually turn on the driver easy speak your voice is actually being projected through the speaker system and sent over to the back there just so that uh, your kids can hear you just while you're uh, paying attention to the road. Now down below you also have your uh, dual zone climate control settings along with your rear temperature controls. You also have your front, rear and mirror defroster, you have your hazard lights. And then located just down below here you're going to see your traction control on and off snow mode as well as your downhill assist control, all wheel drive lock and then you have your USB and auxiliary as well as your power outlet. Matted to a automatic transmission, you also have your heated seat controls for your driver and passenger. At the very top you also have your auto dimming rear view mirror and a couple of the controls you'll see at the top here include your integrated garage door opener as well as your open and closed and tilt up and down feature for your power moonroof with your sunglass case holder for those days when it's quite bright outside but if uh, you want to keep an eye on the kids just while you're driving you can just keep an eye on them just with that uh, additional little mirror that you see there. Finally we'll be taking a look at your rear cargo area as well as your tailgate now located on the back of your tailgate you're going to find your backup camera just on your left hand side. Rear hatch will be located just underneath your Toyota emblem. All you have to do is push on the button once and it will open up automatically for you. Now I'm just going to close in on the rear cargo space just so you have a much better idea of how much room there is. For your third row it's a 60-40 split so in the event that you do need the additional passengers you just have to fold them up just by pulling on this piece here. Headrests are just located right behind here and then if you'd like you can actually tilt the third row back as well just so your third row passengers are more comfortable as well. Now to actually fold the seats back down all you have to do is pull on this piece here, push it forward and it will fold back down. Now if you do need more additional space you can actually fold down that 60-40 split second row as well. And then if we take a look underneath the floor here, 
You're going to find some under the floor storage where you can hide away some of your valuables. And this is also where you'll find your jack and your toolkit. And this is also where you will access your spare tire, which is located just underneath your rear bumper. Now the other thing I like with this XLE model is it does have that power adjustable lift gate as well. So if you need it a little bit lower, just hold down on this button for approximately two seconds. It'll beep a couple of times and when you close it and open it again, it'll open up to the side for you. Now if you want to reset the height for whatever reason, hold down on the button again for more than four seconds. It'll beep several times. Then when you close it and open it again, it'll open up to the site for you. A couple of the uses for that power lift gate is if you're a little bit shorter or if your garage is a little bit lower, you can prevent the back of your tailgate from being damaged. Thank you so much folks for watching this video today. If you have any questions, please visit us. We're located at 31 Audubon Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. The phone number is 780-410-2455 or please visit our website at sbtoyota.com to get us by email. Once again, folks, thank you so much for watching this video today. If you have any comments or any additional questions, please leave them in the comment section located down below. Other than that, make sure you have a great day and I hope to see you next time.